Hi Apollo 62, welcome. Just give me a couple minutes. <laughs> good to know Apollo 62 that's good news for me Okay. Killer clutch. Nice calves. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean they're pretty um they're pretty muscular. They're pretty well defined. If you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> you never know. You never know on Twitch what people are into. Okay. Let's get started. Greetings everyone and welcome to my 2021 advent calendar unboxing day number 17 and 18. So I missed yesterday's stream but never fear that just means you get me for twice as long today. Lucky you guys if you're watching and you're tuned in I'll be opening up two bottles of wine. Uh, Two, two of everything basically. So what am I opening? 11 different calendars each day. So I'll be opening up 22 different windows, different advent calendar windows today. 22 different advent calendar windows. Wow. And um, one week left until Christmas, guys. Seven days. That's crazy. The countdown is on. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. So we're approaching the end. That being said, I noticed that the followers, my follower count, last I checked, I was sitting at 47 followers. So it's really exciting. I think I only need three more followers before I can apply for affiliate. So maybe, Hopefully, per chance, I'll be able to apply for affiliate by the end of the weekend. That would be a lovely Christmas present for me. Super excited. Um, so yeah, definitely, I feel, you know, I see light at the end of the tunnel. It is attainable. Three more followers. Chugging along there, almost there. So that's super exciting. So thank you everyone who has followed me. If you haven't done so already, please do. I need 50 followers before I can apply for affiliate. And I've checked all the other boxes. So really that's what I was just working towards is the 50 followers. Okay, that being said, guys, let's get into the wine. Let's get started. Oh, and my outfit of the day is it's like a very um thick knit sweater material kind of matches these little knitted texturized 
fingernails I have going on. Um, yeah, so it's a thick knit, knit sweater material. And I love it. It's a little bit hot though. It's very, very heavy, thick knit material. I may need to open a window later, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe a little glass of wine with some ice will cool me off. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Hi, Jason. Hello, Validus Live. You're number 50? No way! Woo! Congratulations to me! Thank you, Validus. Validus Live. Wow, I'm number 50? Okay, so that's great news. Oh, everybody came and running. That's great news, guys. Thank you so much. I don't exactly know how I apply for affiliate, how that happens. I've never done it before. Um, but we'll see. So since I'm sitting at 50, all the other boxes are checked. I don't know how it happens now, but uh, we'll see. We will see what the next stage has in store for me. Thank you so much to everyone who has followed me. Okay. Hello, Jason. Killer Clutch, you had two Vishlas? No way! You know what? It's very popular. A lot of... I find a lot of Vishla owners, they do own two because they are so... Um, you, know, you know that they're a very demanding... Um, high energy Velcro Vishla type of dog and um, they can get separation anxiety easily they're known for getting separation anxiety so by having two they always have a friend a companion they're never alone um, so I do find it's very common that you see two Vishlas together yeah so nice i have a boy and a girl viva and vegas viva's three and a half and vegas is two and a half okay let's get into the wine This is yesterday, so day number 17. Down here. Ooh! It is Twitch purple today, guys. It must be a sign. It must be a congratulatory 50 follower sign it's purple like my hair and this is great guys the it is a fresh fruit explosion this is the second fresh fruit fruit explosion that i've gotten in the box the other was a lychee flavor this one seems to be cassius what is cassius is that like a black currant it almost looks like a black currant to me. Cassis. Cassis. Cass? No, Cassius. 200 milliliters, 12%, product of France. So, this is the wine of the day. Cassius, guys, it has a little divot for your thumb placement right on the side. Very interestingly shaped bottle because it's it's not symmetrical so i think this is so cool uh best served ice cold well don't mind if i do because i do have a glass of ice guys what is cassius i'm so i'm so uh Perplexed at the moment. Is that like a black current? 
sometimes the European terminology um, compared to North American terminology is different. I know that in Europe they call eggplants aubergine, so which is what we call an eggplant in North America. So I wonder if cassius is something we would call like a black currant or something. It smells so nice and fruity. Wow. It smells heavenly. Okay guys, so I have a lot to cheers for today. One week left until Christmas, but most importantly, 50 followers. So cheers guys to 50 followers and making my Christmas wish and my Christmas dream come true of being able to uh, become affiliate on Twitch. So thanks to each and every one of you. Cheers. Mmm. Definitely tastes like a black currant to me. Some type of a tart berry. Very fragrant smell. It's nice, I like it, and it's not dry like the majority of the wines from this calendar were, or are. This one's on the sweeter side. It's a fruit explosion. I think so too, Apollo 62. That's what it reminds me of. It's called Cassius on the label. I think in North America we would call it black currant. Definitely, definitely very similar. <laughs> Apollo 62, get a third dog and name it Loss. I have considered that. <laughs> I have, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me because it could very well be possible. <laughs> but yeah, that was what I was trying to achieve. Viva Las Vegas type of thing. Jason, it really is a lovely colored purple bottle. Isn't that nice? Even the, the wine on the inside is a beautiful shade of pinkish purple. Hmm. Wow, guys, 50 followers. I'm so happy. I don't know. Should I have an acceptance speech or something? I wasn't I wasn't prepared for this right away. As soon as I like started the stream, I wasn't prepared. So I'll have to like take a moment to just reflect and take it all in. Okay. Moving on, guys. Something in my mouth is bothering me. Okay, moving on. Let's get to Le Formage. The cheese. Day number 17. Oh, down here. And the image of the day. Wow. It's a whole block a big chunk of cheese. Very cheesy looking. Then there's a, a wedge beside it as well. Some lucky person has that lovely big block of cheese. Wow. And the cheese of the day is Mexicana. Cheese with spices, jalapeno, bell, and chili peppers. It has two chili peppers a spice rating. So it is on the spicier side, cheese-wise. 
I love spicy food, so this is right up my alley. The wine is sweet today. The cheese is spicy. You get a sweet and spicy combo. Okay. It is spicy, but not over the top. And the mix of the other things as well, the bell peppers and the spices in it, help to give it a really nice flavor. It's not that type of spice that is just hot with no taste and no flavor. I've had those before as well. This is actually a very flavorful spice. Right, Jason? 50 followers before the end of the advent calendars. Guys, you made my Christmas wish come true one week early. Yay! Cheers again, guys, to 50 followers. Um, you made this girl so happy. Oh, this wine is so good today. Guys, have you ever had that, um, it's a black currant flavor drink and they drink it a lot in Europe called Rubicon. Rubicon? No, no, sorry, not Rubicon. That's another fruit juice. <laughs> Rubina. It's a black currant. Like there's a syrup that you can add to things. They have it like canned as well and bottled or like just ready to drink. Rubina. Apollo 62, since you're in Europe, you probably have heard of Rubina. It's a very popular drink. I love Rubina. Rubina is delicious. And this is kind of what it reminds me of. That sort of sweet, tart, blackcurrant taste. Okay. Moving on. To the chocolate. You've never heard of Rubina? Oh my goodness, you're missing out, sir. Okay, maybe they don't have it in Germany. You know what I do remember from Germany? And I know you've had this before. You cannot, unless you're lactose intolerant. M Mueller milk. Is that how you pronounce it? Like M-U-L-L-E-R, I believe it is? Milk? They're like... They're like um, bottled like milkshake type of drinks. There's like pistachio, coconut, like different flavor, like hazelnut, Mueller milk, and they sell it in Germany. And yo, know, I was like, I think I tried almost like every fla flavor I could find. Every time I came across a bottle of this Mueller milk, I downed it. It was so good. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's an Apollo 62. Oh, those are so good. Oh my god. I wish they had those in Canada. They would be such a good seller. Okay. Moving on to the Melt London calendar. Day number 17, this beautiful blue shade. We're all down on the last row. One week to go. This is really, there we go. Ooh, and it's not a chocolate today, guys. It is like a fruit gummy or fruit square. Okay. Cute box though, right? Look at this little box. I'm definitely going to be reusing these for future advent calendars if I have like a a DIY do-it-yourself and I make one, I'll be using this calendar for sure. The gummy today is a nice soft one. I love a nice soft gummy. And let's see what the flavor is. Mmm. 
I think I've had this one before. It's like a tangerine or a clementine citrus fruit flavor. It's very nice. It reminds me of marmalade. Apollo 62, what do I do with all of the calendar boxes when they're finished? Good question. I usually recycle majority of them. There are a few really, really cute ones that I keep and I will reuse them for DIY calendars. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. So majority of them, like these cardboard ones, no point to keep them, just toss them in the recycling. Um, but there are those rare few that are just so cute and reusable, good quality. Um, so I definitely keep those ones. I have a few that I have stored. Okay, moving on. The IKEA chocolate advent calendar, day number. 17. Smack dab in the middle. And the image of the day is, oh, it's a candelabra. Very nice. Could be a countdown to Advent happening. You never know. Like, Historically, um, Advent, you know, are not these chocolate Advent calendars that you open daily. That's kind of a new thing. Historically, Advent is uh, candles that you burn a little bit every single day to count down until Christmas. So that's a nice little interesting fun fact. And the chocolate today seems to be a vanilla truffle. I've had this one before, it's good, I like it. Mm. I don't think there's any chocolate in it. more of like a white chocolate vanilla infused white chocolate still I like to switch it up I've been having a lot of chocolate over the days it's just nice to have a vanilla flavor instead of the cocoa mm, let me get a wipe Right, Apollo, the beauty advent calendar, that box is beautiful. Like definitely it could reuse that in the future. It's very solid cardboard as well. So I probably will be saving the Metaporter beauty advent calendar for sure. Also the little walnut calendar from Switzerland, I may save that one as well. That's really super cute. See, Apollo 62, in Germany you light a candle every Sunday before Christmas in December, four total. So on my uh, dining room table, I actually have a beautiful centerpiece with four candles for Advent. Um, but no, in North America, this is not a tradition that we do. It's a European tradition for sure. Actually, I think it's Germany that that invented that started with the advent tradition i believe so i 
And also, Apollo 62. What is this tradition in Germany about having a pickle? Like on the Christmas tree? Something about a pickle. Tell me more about that. That's very interesting to me. And it's like, whoever can find the pickle is the winner. It's like a game. Like you put a pickle on a Christmas tree, like a decoration, or even a real pickle maybe. And then whoever's the first to find the pickle is the winner, something like that. Okay. You, you haven't heard of that? I think it's a ger German tradition. Pickle, a pickle on the tree, I don't know, something like that. Okay. Moving on to the tea. Day number 17. This is true, Apollo 62. Germany is a big country, so there are a lot of regional differences, like from the Black Forest in the south to... Um, you know what I mean. Okay. Wow, this one's packed full today. And the tea of the day is Organic David's Breakfast Blend. Very nice. So this is an in-house strong breakfast blend. I've had it before, it's very good. Oh my gosh. Honestly, this tin is really on there. I don't think I can open it. So it's okay though, it's just a very strong black tea for breakfast. I'm sure you can imagine what it's like. to AC Perch Advent Calendar. Day number 17. Ooh. So I googled the pickle thing and it's basically an American thing. It's an American thing? The pickle thing? I thought it was a German thing to have a pickle on a tree. People in America, I, I don't think people in America do that. Okay. So the tea of the day for AC Perch is green Quince, quince, quince. Quince is a type of fruit. It's kind of, I wouldn't say it's a citrus fruit. Um, I think it becomes ripe and in season in the winter and this is why it's used a lot in the winter time. And I know that you can't really eat this fruit raw. It's cooked more so than eaten raw. Um, it has a very recognizable smell to it. I can't really describe it. There's nothing out there that smells like a quince. It just has a very unmistakable, fragrant, very fragrant smell. Like perfume. It's like a very strong perfume. Let's read the bio. Maybe it can describe it better than I can. Oh, really, Apollo 62? Americans describe it's a tradition? 
92% of Germans have never done it. So what, I don't know why Ger uh, American people are trying to explain what German traditions are. <laughs> Leave it to the Americans to do that, I don't know. But uh, that's good to know. Okay, so it's just like a, a myth. Definitely just a myth. It's not a real thing. Good to know. Okay, so green quince tea. Green quince tea is a delicious Chinese tea with a fresh taste of quince, apples, and rose hips. We recommend this tea even as an iced tea on hot days. The ingredients are green tea from China, apple, rose hip peel, quince aroma, sunflower leaves, and cream aroma. Hmm. Nice. I could see that a nice um, that tea as a as an iced tea because it's so fruity and fragrant. It would make a delicious iced tea. I can't believe that um, ninety two percent of Germans. I thought this pickle thing was real. Oh, this pickle thing was real the whole time so it's good to know it's good to know that it's um it's not actually a tradition that's performed every christmas all right That's true, Apollo 62. Very well could be. Yeah. Okay.